Hi guys, my name is Agent Bat, and we're in February 2022 Mythic rank at 97%. So our deck tag for today is Best of One Historic with Madu Geese Fang. And the preview card for today is of course Geese Fang, Okiba Boss. This one is a 4-3 legendary creature, a red pilot as well. At the beginning of your combat on your turn, return target real card from your graveyard to the battlefield. It gain haste. Return it to its owner hand at the beginning of your next end step. So what you want to combo this with is your big vehicle that you want to cheat it out. And the best one that we have here is Parhelion 2. It's a 8 mana, 5-5 five five legendary artifact vehicle with flying, first strike and vigilant. And when Pahelion 2 attacks, create two 4-4 four, four white angel creature token with flying and vigilant that are attacking and two four. 4 So what you want to do is that you want Pahelion in the graveyard, like by looting or discard, like by token and feathers looting. And then when this is in the graveyard, you want to play your Geese Fang before combat, right? To return target vehicle from your graveyard to the battlefield, which is Pahelion here. It has crew 4, so you want to crew with this 4-3 red pilot creature. So you can crew it right away with itself. And it gain haste, right? The vehicle gain haste. So you can attack it right away for 5-5 five, five flying first strike vigilant. And you're getting 2 4-4 four, four white angel token that is attacking flying and vigilant. So that's the combo right there. And then uh, I'm playing one Sky Summit Consult Flagship here, a 6-5 Legendary Artifact Vehicle with Flying. And when it enters the battlefield or attacks, it deals 3 damage to target creature or plane wa walker and opponent control, crew 3, right? So same as the Pahelion, you can play Sky Summit here, put it in the graveyard before combat. You pay Geese Fang before combat, right? Return target vehicle, which is the flagship here. You return it. When it enters the battlefield, it deals 3 damage to target creature. So this one is better against creature deck. You can deal 3 damage, kill some creature. Then you can crew 3 right away with the Geese Fang, attack. And when it attack, it trigger the 3 damage to target creature, open walker and opponent control again. So you can kill another creature. Or the same creature with more than three toughness, right? So this is the combo between Geese Fang, Pahelion, and the flagship, right? And the rest of the deck, we are playing a, a lot of discard to find out Geese Fang and to find our vehicle, right? So we're playing uh, Fifth Looting, the best looting. We're playing Trilling Discovery. This one you gain two life, then you may discard two cards and draw three cards. We're also playing uh, the root effect and this card effect from the blood token we're playing a uh, one pie here for the blood token we're playing a uh, blood fountain for the blood token as well and this one also you can sack this one for four mana tap it sacrifice the blood to token return up to two target creature card from your graveyard to your hand right so you want to cycle this gifts fan back into your hand if they keep killing it and also uh, another good combo here is the Goblin Engineer, which is, I think it's crucial. So when Goblin Engineer enter the battlefield, you may search your library for an artifact card and put it into the graveyard. Pahelion, flagship, whatever you need. So basically you can just play this on turn two, get a vehicle into the graveyard and play this on turn three. A two card combo, easy as that. And then, uh, the other ability is, is no use, so yeah. So if you have wild card guys, maybe just play four of this. And then you can play this on turn 2, Giz Fang on turn 3. And then attack with the vehicle of your choice. And also because uh, we're playing the graveyard, with this guard and looting. So we're feeling our graveyard pretty good, so I think playing Koma Titan of Death Hunger is a good way too. Not to mention we can play this on turn 2 and make our opponent discard so that our Giz Fang will survive. So this one has a target on its head and uh, it's a good alternative to play with Giz Fang. Yeah, 
So this is a deck tech guys. It's a combo deck, so hopefully you enjoy the gameplay. Thank you. Uh, Untap.gg is in bad profile with best of one historic with Madhu Gisfang. And uh, for the win rate for today is 56% with a match record of 20 and 16 and all in mythic rank right there. So best of one historic with Madhu Gisfang here. And uh, yeah, this looks quite good. We're missing a bit of white and a land. The rest are fine. We have this, we can get a blood token and we can discard through the blood token right there. But here I think we're gonna need to discard this one. That's the card we need, the first thing right there. Let's go. Ooh, mirror match. Okay, let's see who's getting there first. That's the turn. Okay, they look they have everything. Now we need to hit it first right now. So here we can get value from the lizard, but we don't want that. We want to get our combo online. And what we need is white untapped white mana. <laughs> I was gonna say that. Oh, that's that's the untapped white mana we need. So we underplay, guys. Let's see. This is not deadly. This is uh, 13 damage from this two and 14 from the vampire. Getting to Virgin Angel here and returning that into our hand. They don't have the sky ship or they do, unfortunately. But I think the angel can finish them off here if they use the sky ship still. So. Yeah. I think they can't get back. At least my yep, GG. On the play guys. On the play. That's the difference. So best of one historic with Madhu Gisfang. So here we're missing Gisfang here, but the rest is fine. Turn one Tarsis into turn two goblin. And then if we can draw Gisfang and another another land would be great. Okay, let's go. Tarsis. Ooh, what are you playing? So this one is interesting. But the Tarsis is important as well. Let's get that. So here we want to play it red, so we have black, red, white here. Okay. That looks good too, but let's play this one first. Get the rear core out on the road here, in the graveyard. And then we're gonna be digging for Kisfang. Ditch this madness lizard here for value. So this one will get quite big here. Hopefully we find that geese farm that that is that is. But we're still missing a land a bit. One two um, yeah. So we want this in the yard and we want this on the battlefield for free and let's pay this one. Now we just need a the left.
um, let it come to for now. We can pump it later. Damn. Okay, let's go dig that third land then. Yep, I think we can do survive for another turn here. And that's too bad it's not a red, but we can uh, discard this one if you want to. So I think here, hopefully they don't have Dossies, that's the first thing. I think we need to chop a little bit here. So it looked like Esper artifacts with patchwork automation. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Sure. Okay, so I think we're gonna sack this to ditch this lizard. Get it on a battlefield for some chumping here. Okay, <laughs> we want one, now we get two. So let's chomp here, chomp here. Let's chomp. Okay, still at a high time life title and here we go boom so that's the combo guys and what we want to do is that we want to attack right away because it give haste here and then attack with this boom get to 4-4 four, four vigilant angel now they is that turn to chump Okay, at three life. That's good. So it is in the turn. So that's the combo. So you want this in our graveyard, and we're gonna be activating that with uh, the bot token. We can pay this, activate the bot token to discard this pavilion, or pay Fifth's looting. And that's how we get the win. Victory 1714. So, best of one, Madu in historic with Geese Farm. So here we got one of the combo which is the Parhelion Breaker. Prefer shooting to find our Geese Fang. Yeah, so the land is good. We're just missing the rat. So we play this red, white, and this on black. Fine. Got that covered. So here, I think we still want to try to find what's going, not what's going on, but trying to dig into our geese farm here. While we do that, we just send in the lizard. This is good. Oh, that's good against our deck here. Let's see if this deck can fight the... Oh my god, that's two of our goodies. Yeah, let's, let's go aggro here. They got our graveyard covered. Let's see if we can go a bit aggro here. It. Yep, I have a feeling we're gonna sack it for some land here. And now we just have one of them to play around, which is good here. Um, use this one because we have another black if we need it. I'll be ditching the lizard. Okay, interesting, interesting, but. I think I want to keep that in hand or sh should I? I think that's not 
better in hand. The little lizard attack. So we're playing Madu Lizard here. And this will be a good showing if we can fight to uh, Graveyard Heat main deck. But we are playing uh, best of one, so it's either it's gonna be main deck or it's not gonna be at all. So here. Attack ball, and then activate this. So we got two red, so we're gonna play this in black then. Suck it. Suck it. Suck it. Nope. I'm not gonna suck it. Then we're gonna beat down with this 1-1. One, one. That is not really a 1-1. One, one. Down to 11 guys. I think we can do this. And... We're still missing vehicle here. Uh, what's that? Uh... Game to life, draw a card. Let's see. 6, 7, 8. That's 8. But we don't have... Um, I think we just go with the lizard plan. Let's go. I wonder if we can pump this twice. Nope. That answer my question. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Let's go aggro then. Don't ditch your land. Ooh. What if next turn they have well God? Then I have four stuff in the yard. Okay, okay. Lizard. Wait. Settle the wreckage. What happened if they have settled the wreckage? Yeah, I think they have settled. If they have that, I still need 3 points of damage, right? But if they just kill this, then I miss Rito. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, Jesus. Miss Red. Fine, you got me, you got me. Get life also. play one of them then we have another one got I'm trying to get stuff on board yeah so that's fine too I think I have to go this route you don't need anything like this in the graveyard boom this can pay the Rakdos way the Akinis way uh, let's keep that so that we can discard without with keeping our kids fang alive. Let's see, they have another work effect. Ooh. Okay, here, let's keep that last card here. They have the chomp as well. Wow. They can. Oh, it's mana three or greater, so that's great for us. Oh, you know what? I was a bit too hurry, but okay, they might be holding counter spell. But <laughs> I thought maybe we should have done this before combat. But then again, um, they might have counter spell, and then it'd be silly not to use this this card effect. Um, yeah. Looking good. Roxa, Giz, what's that? Which are you from? Okay, GG guys. Roxa. Overshadow Shadow Geese Fan 1560 Okay, uh Best of one historic <clears throat> with Madu Geese Fan So here is a bit slow But we have Fifth looting on turn 2 
but still let's merge again this one okay S similar hand but I think we need to keep this one now um, let's get this Q spell out of here so the pan is to dig as much as possible blue white We need the land here. Could be reanimation spell as well. Oh, that can some combo. Um the land and the trailing discovery here okay no need to play that for one mana let's keep it for this card let's see who get our combo first no vehicle in the yard Does this mean they have counters now? Well, let's just play it then. So this deck also have the hop option of playing Croxa style aggro. Okay, they're looking for the combo. Mystic Mastery is only one card combo for them. have another one in hand is two enough for them right or oh, three they can have three okay that's fine okay let's watch the combo then two and three yep so they get the terror first the blade wing to shoot four Get another bed win and then do the loop. Legend rules. This one is legend. And then it just just repeat itself doing four to my face each time it comes back. Sacrifice one legend. Bring back a dragon. And they just keep doing my face. Good job. GG. So pretty keen combo there. Dragon Storm combo. Boom. GG. Okay. Best of one historic with Madu Geese Fang here. And uh, yeah, we have all the pieces. Just need one land. Like that. Pahelion for days. Ooh, blue white. Oh my god, I have to play this on bread. I think I have to. Now we need to draw back mana here. Okay. Got that one covered. Hopefully they tap out for something. Nice. Hotel. Boom. One, two, three, punch. Like that. Just Two card combo here, drilling discovery into Giz Fang, and then I have a bunch of angels and a rat. <laughs> nice. Boom, boom. So that's 13 damage. 
Okay. Let's see if they have perch. Oh, look, it's gone. That's actually pretty good. Let's see what we can find. Okay. Let's throw away this too. We don't need those. And uh, let's get in the 1-1 one -one beats. See if that can finish the job. Oh, down to five. And you can play the about blood fountain here. Actually, I'm playing to divine purge here, but never mind. Okay. Lucky, lucky. Okay. Let's see how they get out of this one. Good game. GG. We can return with Bud Fountain to Geese Fang on the opponent end step and play Geese Fang there. And we still have the three vampire. 